Right, good morning at 5 minutes to 7am on the 2nd of April 2018. Good morning all, what are you doing lad? Right, I want to talk about the Fukushima again today. <clears throat> it's still a very, very important topic. And I'll prove to you. Yeah, I'm on this page now. All these little things in the back. There's a huge crane in the middle of the shot there. You can see some vehicles... These are bags of nuclear waste dumped around Japan. Yeah, look at all these bags. Look at all these fields, acres and acres of bags. And look at them, look how high they are stacked. And these are one ton bags. Each of these bags weighs one ton. And this is contaminated radioactive nuclear fucking waste from the Fukushima disaster alone. And experts are now saying, officially there's over 50, 60 million bags, yeah, but experts are saying there's now almost over 100 million bags. And when you look at this, look at these, this is all bags. This is not an air, this is not a fucking airport strip, this is bags. There's no runway. And these are bags. And we go back to the other picture here, that looks like a runway, it's actually a beach. These are stacked on a beach. These are bags, these are bags of nuclear waste, look. Millions of bags and billions of becquerels. Yeah, this is just from 2017. And look at these, these things are being stacked all over Japan. And did you know that 10,000 kilometres from Japan, wildlife species of aquatic birds and insects have plummeted have dramatically since March 2011. You know, and there's a direct link between this plummet, this plummet and the Fukushima disaster. And this is fact. These are the facts I am telling you. The fact from the official fiction that's playing itself out across this earth, yeah? And you may not be aware of the huge human death toll in and around Fukushima. There's even been a dramatic decline in birth rates also. You know, after Fukushima lifted itself into the air and blew itself stupid, you know, whatever got released as radiation and so on was carried eastwards, itching its free ride via the North Pacific Current. You can look them currents up, yeah? And the Northern Jet Stream, look them up. And look at what happens. And thus proving once and for all that there never was and never could be any containment of this stuff. Yeah, once it gets into the air... Any jet streams, any currents, this stuff is carried. You cannot contain fucking radiation. <clears throat> That's blown itself up anyway. So no matter the official fake narrative, yeah, to make matters worse, Japan continues, yeah, to export to the rest of the earth as much contaminated steel, wine, rice, food as they fucking choose and no one's stopping them. Over here in London, there's been tests on bottles of wine. You know, in some of the fucking top wine shops and restaurants over here, and it's and the readings have been off the fucking charts. Yeah. Since the explosion at Fukushima, there's been a sudden expansion of the Arctic ozone hole. We've all read about, all heard about, yeah. Fragmenting of ice caps, wild salmon fisheries have been utterly annihilated. Yeah. Poisonous milk from dairy cows and other unreported episodes that they would much sooner blame on fucking things like global warming, yeah? And climate fucking lies. Climate strange, I call it, because it doesn't fucking exist. And Fukushima happened. It fucking happened, yeah? A lot of people have never even heard of it. Never saw anything on the news. It, the bit that was on the news was on... But not to very fucking long, but look what happened, people. Look. Look, these are them bags. You can Google these bags. These are machines stacking them. Yeah? And now they're hiding them under soil and even talking about... The, I, 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 hiding them under soil. Yeah? And, and letting grass grow on top of this soil. Yeah? And, and there's like these fucking huge mounds. And they're trying to hide it for these coming Olympics in Japan. Yeah, but look at it. This is a fucking joke. Have you ever seen anything like this? These are bags stacked on the beaches. Yeah, people walking past these bags and all these bags leak. 
All these bags are leaking the plastic fucking bags. Plastic wonton bags containing one ton of radioactive waste. Who the fuck thought that a plastic bag, you know, would suffice? Look at all this. This is fucking beyond. Beyond belief. It's fucking ridiculous. Let me get back to the notes again. <clears throat> right, well, so where were we here? And, and it happened. Fukushima happened. You can, you cannot be in denial. What you've got to do is do the research. I'm showing you some here. This is easy, easy, easy findable. Yeah. It's achieved an earthwide destruction. In, and hardly anyone talks about it, nor gives a fuck about it. But it definitely happened. And guess what? It's still happening. Yeah. There were four reactors. One, two, three, four. One blew itself up. The others are still in meltdown. Fuck all's been done at Chernobyl. They encased it in concrete. Said it would last for 60, 50, 60 years. And then the future technology would catch up and be able to fucking sort that out. And they still haven't. That thing is now under threat of blowing up in Chernobyl. This stuff they didn't even encase in. Fuck all they've done. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Just made fucking matters worse. Lied. And all the technicians and executives were paid off and fucked off with their money. Yeah. Research this fucking stuff. It definitely happened. And it's like I say, it's still fucking happening. This meltdown's still going on. These rods are still in the ocean. The oceans are all but dead. Fucking dead. And the fires and the meltdowns were not the only sources of the mass destruction. Uh, the, you know, from this radioactive release. Amongst these explosions at F Fukushima was weapons related materials such as highly enriched plutonium you know and, and it was released from separate nuclear disasters that also occurred at four nuclear warhead production sites are you still following the fukushima complex was actually one of the largest and most advanced warhead production sites on earth you didn't know that i've only just been fucking told about it a friend of mine uh, Sean Anagans, you know who you are. Thank you for this information. You know, we the people associate these power plants with the production of electricity only. You know, of good stuff, good clean fucking nonsense. And how, I, how naive are we, question mark. And to add insult to ongoing injury, they now intend to resume warhead business as usual. And I kid you not, people... You know, I swear you could not make this shit up. Secret weapons programs, yeah? That'll cull us all, for sure. They will. This is nonsense. Vast arsenals of hydrogen bombs rapidly produced from nuclear waste. And this is happening everywhere, yeah? And I believe it's the real reason why nuclear power plants exist in the first fucking place. It's not for the betterment of man. Everything that we fucking come up with with the idea of bettering for man ends up in the hands of the military and it is turned against us. That's a fucking fact. So, like I said, I believe the real reason why nuclear power plants exist yeah, is for fucking military fucking nefarious reasons. It, it, and even I, common sense, me, I had no education at no school, yeah, but even I now know you know, through common fucking sense that this had to be about more than just warming fucking water to boiling point. You know, you wouldn't believe what these fucking plants secretly produce. From military weapons to medical nuclear poisons. You know, just look this up and you'll see I'm telling you the truth. My wife a couple of years ago went for a contrast scan. She has an MS. Yeah, and she's suffering really badly with the Emma. She struggles to walk. She struggles with her memory, all kinds of crap. <clears throat> we were told that she has these scans every so often to see how the MS is progressing. Uh, keep a long story short, she had this contrast scan. Yeah? And we didn't ask, we didn't fucking question. Um, then, the, a year or so after, she had another contrast scan. But immediately after the first one, she started suffering these effects of fucking what felt like um, arthritis but all over her fucking body. And we just put it down to the MS. 
But then, recently, she had another contest scan. Um, last year, she had a contest scan, and shame on me for not fucking picking up on this. She went for this scan. She had the nuclear medicine again. And it's all, all through um, Fukushima that I've learned about this very quickly, yeah? She had this contest scan. And I find out now that the actor in America, Chuck Norris, his fucking wife, he's now suing for $10 million fucking compensation for the the destruction they've done to her fucking body. She had a contrast scan. And basically, they told us, they assured us, that within a couple of days you'd pass this stuff back out through your system. Yeah? But it's nuclear fucking medicine. You are being irradiated. Yeah? And, and, and when you look into this... It, you can get a systemic fibrosis from this, yeah? Contrast scan. They did not inform us of it. They did not tell us. We had no informed can fucking sent on this. Um, I've had to research this on the computer. And again, now she's suffering all the time. Um, and I'm now suspecting, and it's gone worse, that she's got this systemic fibrosis. They tell you that this nuclear medicine goes in. It does its fucking job. It... Um, Helps them with the scan so they can detect. It, it it lights up what it needs to fucking light up. And then they do their scan. And then a few days later it is gone. And it fucking isn't. We were lied to. Every fucker that has these contrast scans is in danger. Lied to. And when you think about it. Once you fucking radiated it. You, you can't get rid of radiation. There is no safe fucking dose. Even with a, um, an x-ray. There's no safe dose. None. And nobody tells us this. But you know there's something fucking wrong when these guys hide behind these lead shields when they do these. Even at the fucking dentist, they're out of the room or you have yours. So I'm, I'm angry about that and I'm very angry with myself that I'm never fucking... For one minute connected that this contrast scan and the dye they were using was produced in a fucking nuclear power plant. Look that up. Where do you think this stuff comes from? It doesn't come from a nuclear lab. Yeah, nuclear is produced in nuclear fucking power plants. So she had this stuff injected in her. And she's now at risk if she hasn't already contracted this systemic fibrosis. And it's called that because it's systemic. It gets into your system. They told us it's gone in a few days and it's not. It gets into your bones. It gets into your fucking brain. It gets into your eyes. It gets into your fucking blood. Into your marrow. It's it, It's systemic. You know, and it, and it fucking, I can't believe we had it done. I can't, and I don't know the next fucking step forward. But um, anyway, like, where are we now with these nuts? I've gone on fucking track. <clears throat> and you can look all this up. You know, I'm not, I'm not making this up. You just look this up, look systemic fibrosis slash contrast scans. There you go. And Japan, now back onto Japan, Japan's government lied. Yeah? They reported but one single death from the Fukushima disaster. Yeah? Where in truth, at least 1,000 nuclear technicians and such workers were killed inside the flooded Aramachi lab alone. Yeah? Government say one person died, don't worry about it. Yet there were a thousand fucking people almost fucking drowned because they had zero chance of escaping due to the intense nuclear fucking release. And then you got many thousands of local villagers who died of a combination of radioactive fallout and freezing temperatures. But you'll never fucking see this in the mainstream news. Never. Two months after this disaster... A leaked document regards the Fukushima um, <coughs> University Medical School Hospital stated that more than a thousand bodies still attired in their white lab coats or military uniforms were being secretly kept in a walking fucking freezer inside this hospital morgue. Yeah? Thousands of bodies. Oh, a thousand bodies. You know, this is a fucking joke. This is a job, but look at this, people. These are bags. Yeah, I'm sorry that they don't show up any clear, but look. These are bags. Nuclear bags, nuclear waste. All around Japan. Yeah, 
And just picture this. Look at these guys here with a fucking silly paper fucking mask on. Yeah, and I should imagine that since this picture was taken, um, and I've known about these pictures for a couple of years now, I should imagine these guys are long dead. Two on the top there. Yeah, coordinating where these fucking bags should go. This is a joke. They're stood on fucking death. Look at this. <clears throat> They've even started dumping these things in fucking graveyards. To get them outside, look. Yeah. Look at this wall of bags of nuclear waste. Look at this. And all this is verifiable and researchable. Yeah, look at that protective fence to keep you away from this fucking mound of fucking poison. This is airborne, people. This is everywhere. You wonder why I get mad. Look at these. This is plastic crap. Yeah, they didn't contain it in fucking lead-lined boxes. You know... Look at these guys. You can Google this. These guys in a sea of fucking bags of filth. And I look at these at least twice a week. Yeah, I look at these at least twice a week. Just to keep myself fucking angry. Yeah, because it shouldn't be kept out of my fucking mind. Because it's an ever-present danger and it's getting worse by the day. The fucking fish camps. Get onto Kevin Blanche's fucking website and look at um, what he's reporting. Kevin Blanche. Go onto his YouTube site. And then go on to Beautiful Girl by Dana. All lowercase. Beautiful Girl by Dana. Yeah, and get the daily fucking reports and the daily fucking facts and truth from him. No, this is just nonsense. And everyone's distracted. Look at this report here. In 2015, 30 million one ton bags of radioactive waste were re fucking ported in 2015. So you know for certain now, yeah, these all these years on there are more fucking bags. Upwards of 100 million. By the side of the roads, by the side of people's houses, by the sides of hospitals. Look at it. Miles and miles and miles and miles of destructive fucking shit. That they say now they they may have to push into the ocean. But if the oceans are dead then you know this is coming. You know they're not gonna give a fuck. Once they officially tell us that we can't have fucking fish anymore, that is where this stuff is headed. Look at it. Yeah, look at this. This is a fucking joke. This is sick. I'm fucking sick. And that's it. Thank you for watching.